Hello, Akako. It's Pastor Keith. It's morning prayer for a Friday, November 29th, the second to last day of November, and really the first year day of the new liturgical year. Um, Advent sort of starts now, even though in our, in our church we've already started Advent. But Advent in many churches begins with the coming Sunday. And uh, again, it's about the fulfillment of time, the completion of the reign of God, the, that which is not yet complete, that which is not yet already here in the reign of God, we pray for, we look for, we stay alert for. The psalm for this week is Psalm 25, the first 10 verses. And it's a prayer for guidance and deliverance, something that I think we could be praying for daily here. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Do not let me be put to shame. Do not let my enemies exalt over me. Do not let those who wait for you be put to shame. Let them be ashamed who are wantonly treacherous. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all day long. Be mindful of your mercy, O Lord, and of your steadfast love, for they have been from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me. For your goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast love and faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and his decrees. It's all about relationship. God brings that steadfast love, and we ask God to continue to guide us because we're putting our trust in the God who rescues. And we say, deepen the faith. Make me know you better according to your steadfast love. Yeah. So God leads us, God guides us, God loves and cares for us. As a friend of mine said once, it's all about relationship. It's all about the back and forth. God comes to us in love. God rescues us. God raises us from the dead. And we respond by trusting. What God's love provokes in us, calls out of us, is faith, that is, trust. These are challenging times. And like the psalmist, we pray. E pule kako. God, our comforter, you are a refuge and a strength for us, a helper close at hand in times of distress. Enable us so to hear the words of faith, that our fear is dispelled, our loneliness eased, our anxiety calmed, and our hope reawakened. May your Holy Spirit lift us above our sorrow to the peace and light of your constant love. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Now, may our mothering God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless you and lead you in the way of truth, life, and love. Amen.